more Saturday of our life, a day of blessing, a day to remember that we have certain responsibilities in our life and we have to take up these responsibilities that shows our maturity. This one responsibility, very, very important responsibility we have to take up wholeheartedly but before that realize the full meaning of this responsibility we have to take it up to make our life significant to experience life as a whole we are the artists of our life. We design our life. We take up the responsibility of forming our lifestyle. Never hand over this responsibility of designing your life to someone else. Never give this responsibility of designing life to your dear ones, your family members, your bosses. You have to take up this responsibility of designing your life. On the other, other hand, drop the idea of becoming someone. You are already a masterpiece. You cannot be improved in a way. Only you have to come to realize, realize that you are a masterpiece. That itself is a part of your responsibility of designing your life. First of all, realize you are born as a masterpiece, but you are not realized that. For this, we need to wonder at ourselves. Wonder. There's another word, amazement. It's the same, it's not the same meaning. Amazement is the foundation of science. Only when someone looked at the moon with amazement, that amazement ended up by setting foot on moon. Chandrayana. Wonder, on the other hand, is the foundation of deep, deep religiousness. Amazement is somewhat extrovert attitude. Things outside towards the phenomenon. There is one that is introvert. Something which you cannot understand immediately, which leaves us speechless, awe stricken, which leaves us, which defies our mind's grasp, which proves to be bigger than us which leaves us simply dumbfounded. That is wonder. Wonder is inexhaustible. Child is full of wonder. Watch a child walking on the street or a forest path. Everything strikes him with awe. To him a colored pebble, to that child, a colored pebble on the beach looks like a diamond. That colored pebble is not less precious for the child. A tiny butterfly can mesmerize a child more than anything else. What we take for granted, a child, it is a wonder. As the great mystic Master Eckhart said, a saint is someone who is surprised by everything. A pebble falling on the water, creating ripples, surprises a saint. 
only a child can ask why the tree is green have you ever asked why the tree is green why red flowers come from green trees have you ever asked that question because we lost that sense of wonder the day when we started going to the school child sees the bird on the sill of the window teacher shows him the picture of a bird bird buddy 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 child is interested in that bird sitting there on the sill of the window not the picture why do red flowers come from green plants we say because of chlorophyll that does not satisfy anybody and if you say the tree is hidden in the seed which is actually true the zen writer suzuki dk suzuki says this we cannot all be expected to be scientists obviously we cannot become scientists but take note we are constituted by nature that we can all be artists very creative artists artists of special kinds not indeed artists such as painters we may not become painters we may not become sculptors we may not become musicians we may not become poets but all of us can and are called to be artists of life this profession this vocation this orientation of life to be artists of life may sound new and quite odd actually but in point of fact we are all born artists of life we are not realized the potentiality and not knowing it most of us feel to be so and the result is that we make a mess of our life asking what is the meaning of life we are suffused with meaning is like fish asking what is sea where is the sea so we ask what is the meaning of life you are the meaning of life we all have forgotten that we are born artists creative artists of life that as soon as we realize this fact and truth we will be cured of neurosis and psychosis or whatever name we have for our troubles what is that meant to be an artist of life artists of any kind as far as we know have to use an instrument or another to express themselves to demonstrate their creativity in one form or other they need a instrument the sculptor has to have a stone or a wood or clay and the chisel and some other tools to impress his idea on this material but an artist of life has no need of going out of himself take note of this he need not go out to gather these instruments all the material needed all the implements all the technical skill that are ordinarily required are with him already from the time of his birth from the time of his conception this is unusual extraordinary he makes play explain this body the physical body we all have is the material corresponding to the painter's canvas sculptor's wood or stone or clay the musician's violin or flute guitar the singer's vocal cords and everything that is attached to the body such as the hands the feet the trunk of the body the head the viscera the nerves the cells thoughts feelings senses 
everything is the material indeed that goes to make up the whole personality is both the material on which and the instrument with which the person molds his creative genius into conduct into behavior into all forms of action indeed into life itself all the material all the instruments are in built in us you have to realize that with the person who is a master of oneself wherever he may be found that person behaves truly to himself such a man is the true artist of life one who behaves truly to himself all of us are invited for this one great special unique responsibility we have to take up this responsibility whole heartedly to design our life that's your vocation that's the primary profession all of us have to undertake thank you meet you next saturday again